All right, my friends, it's time for another fantastic Reddit tip. All right. I was asked just recently if there's a way, let's, let's just suppose that you are making a signage package, okay? You're an interior designer firm or an architecture firm or whoever, whoever needs <clears throat> to use Revit to make a signage package. And if you're a signage company, you should get Revit. It's pretty amazing. Anyway, so if you're an interior designer and you are putting signage on the different um on the different doors or on the wall right next to a room and it's reported some of the signs are bigger and some of the signs are smaller that's kind of irrelevant you can make little families an actual face hosted family that you stick on the wall and if it is a real object in the project you can schedule it but here's the question that came up how do I get the signage to automatically report the name of the room and even the room number that it is associated with? Because it, let's just suppose your project had 5,000 signs. You do not want a cell in your signage package or in your signage schedule that's manual, where you have to go verify the exact size of the sign and the room it's associated with and the number of the room. You want that. You want that to be automatic, okay? Automatic. And I'm going to show you how to do it right now, all right? And going to share my screen with you. All right, here we go. Share my screen. And where... It is. Hey, would you look at that? <clears throat> there it is. Okay. So let's, this is my project. I'm just going to open up. Here's our little building that you guys are familiar with. Wait for it. There it is. Yay. Little architect's office. I know I've been meaning to expand this building, but it, it, it works for most everything I'm showing you guys. So Stop whining. Okay, let me just go to the first floor plan. Okay, let's just look at this for a second. All right, let's suppose we had signage in this building and we don't. So since we don't have signage, you guys are going to see this from the absolute scratch, the beginnings of putting signage in and then reporting that signage in a schedule. Okay, now try to keep it simple. Let's suppose we wanted to put a sign outside this bathroom that said toilet 103, okay? And we want, if we ever change the name or number of the room, we want it to update the schedule automatically because that's one of the big things. So it's not only that you would type it in manual, but it updates automatically. So we need a piece of signage, all right? You can make your signage any way you want, but I'm going to show you how I would do it. So I'm going to hit File, hover over New, and click Family, New Family, English Imperial, and I'm going to scroll down to Generic Model, Face Based. Okay, so it sticks sticks to the wall. All right, so I'm going to hit Open, and when it opens up the little template here. The, what you see is representative of the wall that this is going to stick on, okay? You could stick it on the door of the um, bathroom or the wall. Doesn't matter. This is still going to work regardless of where you stick it, okay? Stick it. All right. You see, why don't you just stick it? Okay. So I need to make a little family, and I'm just going to – you can make them any size you want. You can make them parametric if you want so that you have different sizes built in, but I'm gonna keep it super simple and just make one size fits all for today, all right? Because I'm not showing you right now how to make different size signs. I'm showing you how to get the name and the number to report to a schedule. <clears throat> so here we go. I'm gonna make an extrusion right on the face of this thing. And I'm just gonna make it like, I'm gonna make this thing a one foot square. La la la. La, 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 la. Okay, there is a one foot square and I've got the center of the sign at the insertion point, okay? <clears throat> and 
I'm going to look over here at my properties and I don't want it to be one foot thick sign. I'm going to make that thing like one inch thick. You can make it a quarter inch thick if you want. I just want it one inch thick. Okay. I can do it how I want. Don't tell me what to do. Okay. Here we go. Done. So there's our little signage. Now, frankly, you can't tell which way's up on this sign, which way's left, right. Because what if I get it in there wrong? Oh, no. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> let me just, let me do something fun. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to hit edit extrusion. And I'm going to draw a little arrow right here. Just for you people who can't, um, no, I'm just kidding. Just there. Would you look at that? There's a little arrow that points up on the sign. Okay. So this is my piece of signage. And the reason I'm doing this is so that you can see that it works. If you had a piece of sign um, a piece of signage that's going on a wall that has real numbers and stuff on it, it it'll, it'll, it's going to work. It's going to go in correctly. All right. So there's my cute little sign. And I'm going to save that little guy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to save it right here and say, um, way cool sign. Okay. I'm just kidding. That's, we can't call it way cool sign. Okay. Signage. Signage. There, signage. That's good for me save we saved it called it's called signage and then i'm going to load it into my project and close it all right now i'm going to go back to my plan now i want to put this sign on this wall right here just so happens that you can place your signs in revit or you can place them in revit in plan view or in um elevation view doesn't matter so watch this <clears throat> in fact, I'm going to place one each way so that you can see how this works. Okay, wait for it. I am going to go right here. Wait. Okay, I'm going to go up to component. Okay. And it selects the last family that I actually made, so, which is good. Otherwise, I would have to search for signage. Okay. So now look at this. It Up at the top, it says place on a face. And so does, do I want to put it on the floor here in front of the door? No. Do I want to put it in the room on, on the floor or on the stair nearby or on this table over here in the conference room? No. I want to put it on the wall. So up at the top for placement, click on place on vertical face. So I'm going to click place on vertical face. And you can see the sign popping in. See there? I don't want it inside the bathroom and I don't, I do want it outside on the wall. But before I place it, I can select elevation from the level, four feet up from the first floor. I'll just leave it there for now, but I'm saying you can change that number right here, right now. Okay, here we go. I'm going to click right here. Boom. And so you can see my signage sitting there on the wall. And what I'm going to do is back out. And I'm going to go to this elevation, the section through, actually. I'm going to double click and go to the section through. Bam. Look at that. There it is outside the toilet room wall. There it is sitting on the wall. Okay. And you see how it's oriented correctly and it's just sitting on the wall. And if I dimension to it, sure enough, it's four foot, just like if I highlight it, it says it's four foot over here in the properties. And if I thought, ooh, it needs to be five foot. I can adjust it to five and look, boop, it moves up to five feet. So the insertion point matters for your signage. You could make the insertion point to the top of your signage. You know, just move your geometry down so that the insertion point is at the top. Anyway, if that's critical to you. So let's place another one, not from plan view, but from elevation. Upstairs, we've got a storage room. I'm going to just double click on the second floor and show you. Here's the second floor. We got a storage room upstairs, and instead of placing this family from plan view, I'm going to go to that section. So here's the first floor on the toilet room, and here's the second floor, and I want to put it on the wall right here outside the storage. So all I got to do is I'm going to click on the original one and say create similar CS on the keyboard. Now look, place on face is a good option. I could place it on the door. I can place it on the wall. I can place it on these on these railings, but no, I'm going to place it right here on the wall, bink, outside the bathroom. And if I click on it, I can see I've I've just 
randomly place it at four foot seven. I can highlight that and change it to five feet. And it moves to the correct elevation to the center of my sign. So <clears throat> now I've got two signs in my project. And I, they, these will not report what room they're in <clears throat> yet, but I'm going to show you the trick, how you do this. So let's just make a schedule first. I'm going to go to view, schedule, and I'm going to make a schedule and quantity of this signage. These things are generic models, so I'm going to make a generic model schedule, but I'm going to change the name of it to signage. S-I-G-N-A-G-E, signage schedule, okay? I'm going to hit OK. <clears throat> now, it pops up and says, hey, what parameters do you guys want? So I'm going to say, mm -hmm, I would like the family, uh, family, okay? And I would like the type. You guys already know what parameters. You probably want the manufacturer. I don't know. You guys want whatever your signage needs are. You make parameters for the different things that need to be on the sign. But watch this. You'll notice that in this list, the room that this is associated with is not listed. A through Z, it is not listed the room name for this piece of sign. But look here, wait, watch up at the top. These listed are the parameters for generic models. But in the drop down, look at that. Switch it to room, meaning the room that it's associated with. And there's a lot of parameters it can pull. It can pull the information from the room, the department the room is in, any comments, different base, floor, ceiling, it, all kinds of stuff. But one of the things it can pull is the room name, bam, and the room number, bam. Those are the only ones I want. So watch this. When I say, okay, it is going to list, wait for it, it's going to list all of my generic models. And it also lists what room name the sign is currently in and the room number it's currently in. But that's not what I want. But let's let's make this schedule only show signage first, okay? So what we're gonna do is go to the properties of this schedule and we're gonna click on filter. And the filter, we're going to set the filter to filter it by family, and it has to equal signage to be in this schedule, okay? The family has to be signage. So when I click OK, it gets rid of all the other items except just signage. You with me? But the room name and the number are incorrect. These are not reporting the room that they're associated with. They're reporting the room they're in, okay? So let's just go look, lobby. Let's go verify that. Go back to my first floor plan. Sure enough, this sign is actually in the lobby. I don't want it to report that. I want it to report the toilet room, okay? See, 101 lobby is being reported by one piece of signage. And if I go to the second floor plan, Open Workspace 201 is going to be in my signage schedule. Look, Open Workspace 201. That's not what I want. You guys with me? So what we're going to do, we're going to click on one of these families. We're going to go edit this thing. We need to edit it and tell it to report the room that is directly behind the sign. Okay? Directly behind this sign, wherever I place this sign, directly behind it is the toilet room, okay? And on the one upstairs, the directly behind the sign is my storage room. So if we could somehow get this signage to pull the information from the room that's behind it, not in front of it, that would be nice, right? So let's click on one of these, doesn't matter which one, and we're going to hit edit family. Now, here's the big kicker, the trick, the reason why 
there is a video happening today, okay? All right, so take a look. There's our family. Look over here in the properties. Room calculation point. If you check that box, a little squiggly line shows up. The squiggly line has a dot at the end of it. It is going to report what room name, room number, room any parameter you want from where that dot is. Well, you might notice in my 3D view here that I'm pivoting around that this squiggly line is pointing back into the lobby, back into the open workspace, the, the room that's in front. We need it to go the other direction. So look at this. If I go to like a front view of this thing, okay? Look, the sign is pointing this direction. That's the wall it's on. And the squiggly line is going out into that room. But that's not what we want. That's That'd be the lobby side. Or what I want to do is click on this thing. And I'm going to pull this little dot, not to inside the wall, but past the wall. So it's, can you see the little dot is now in through the wall into a room behind the sign? Okay. And so now I'm going to hit save. Do you want to save it? Yeah, I, I said save, right? Anyway, load into the project and close it and overwrite and wait for it. Now, I want you to observe something. When I highlight this sign, a squiggly line comes in pointing back into the room behind it. You guys with me? Do you see that? And when I go to my first floor, okay, let's go. When I click on the sign, there's a squiggly line pointing to the room behind it now. So let's go check our signage schedule and see if it works. Bam. Would you just look at that? Would you look at it? Come on. The signage is telling me what room name and room number those are. And if I ever update those, so maybe this is not called toilet room. Maybe it's toidy. Toidy. This is the toidy. Okay. And it's room 1000. Okay. Toidy 1000. And I go back to my signing schedule. What? It's updated? Of course it's updated. Revit's automatic. All right. <laughs> you can place these. Um. You can place your signage now in plan, in elevation view, and you can, if you had other parameters, you could have a signage that's a three by three or a 12 by six. You can, you can do some pretty cool stuff now, but whatever room it is direct, that is directly behind it, it's going to report that name and that number into your schedule. Bada bam, bada boom, gotta be. Okay. So I am going to tell you guys good luck with that. Have a fantastic time using that new information that you just learned for your signage schedules and your signage needs. All right. All right, you wonderful people. I love you all. I hope you have a fantastic day. And until we meet again, Happy riveting. All right. Bye-bye.